Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial on how to automate the smelter. There are a couple of simple ways to automate the smelter. Uh, the first is just to uh, use the put-pull priority um, of the platforms to uh, have it pull from the medium storage over here and put to the medium storage over here. If you notice, I have the arrow there uh, means that uh, it will always put to there. So you just saw that went to there. So they all go onto this side, and then you'll have a complete storage there. Uh, that's one way to do it. You, if you have canisters, um, what you can do is you can uh, uh, just have two canisters on there. You always want to make sure that you don't fill this the first time once you're starting this. Otherwise, you're going to get your raw resource in your medium canister, and then it's not going to work. But once you get the resource in there, there we go, and then you can just keep going, and it'll keep going, and you'll eventually get to uh, a full canister. So that's that's just some super quick ways to um, automate the uh, the smelter. Um, there is this way, so this is just an automation line if you want to have generic uh, automation. What we have is we have our input zone. It uh, puts it on our smelter, and again, we're taking advantage of the fact that it's always going to put to the right if you're looking at that triangle there. It's always going to put to the right, and then here is a quick, simple... Um, set up of canisters there are nine things that can be smelted um, and so there's nine nine canisters so it basically anything you can put on a smelter will be uh, uh, put somewhere so there we go we've got a copper it's coming over it gets put in the copper um, so that's how this works um, if you don't have canisters yet you can just put a, a, a large platform over here and it'll just dump everything on the, the large platform, but it won't sort it. Oh, we got another thing coming. There we go. We got some tungsten. So that's going to go all the way to the end. And... Ta-da! There we go. Into the tungsten. All right. Uh, if you want to go a little more advanced, you have a little more uh, um, automation. We have uh, this setup. So this setup has a large platform uh, for the setup. It's got two centrifuges or two uh, smelters. Uh, the auto arm, the circle goes onto both, so it'll fit both. And then the output is on both. Um, we've just have one platform here, but we have a large storage silo A, which gives us eight slots. And then we have the one slot at the back. So all nine of the resources can fit on a single platform. Uh, what we have here is we have uh, a medium storage with a uh, storage sensor set to empty, not empty. And if, if that means, it, it adds a little logic to the system. So if um, something fills up or something goes wrong where we get something we don't want over here, this will turn off the auto arm and the uh, smelter. So it'll, it'll make sure that we don't uh, uh, continue doing something that we don't want to do, and it'll turn on this light to notify you. Um, if you want to get a little crazy with the, um, with the storage, what we have here is so we have a, a single, you know, we have a smelter, but it's basically a much larger version of what we had over there. So those are just some of the ways to automate the smelter. Um, if you want more information on the push-pull priority and how that works, uh, I made another video on that, link in the description. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching.